Hello, my name is Colin Birchall, and this presentation will describe smart notebook software basics and should be read in conjunction with your Learn Out workbook starting at page 47. So what is smart notebook software? Well, notebook software is similar to a paper notebook. You can use it to immediately capture notes and drawings. It has an advantage over paper notebook because images and macromedia flash files can be easily inserted into your notebook file. So you'll notice that I've got Smart Notebook open at, the, at this very moment uh, with a, a screenshot on there telling you what we're going to be doing today in today's date. But we're going to show you how to open up a, a new notebook, um, a new notebook file, or open up Smart Notebook for the first time. So for those of you who've seen the Smart Board before, or those of you who've used the Smart Board, you'll know that to access the Smart Board, I have to use my hand as a as a mouse um, as a left click. So what I'm going to do is minimize the smart notebook file I'm working on at the moment, that's like so, and I can either access smart notebook from my desktop, there's actually a shortcut, because it's a piece of software commonly used, which is uh, smart notebook 10, or if you don't have um, a smart notebook 10 shortcut, and you'd like to use uh, the smart, uh, your Windows software, if you go to start, click on all programs, and if we scroll down the bar, we should see smart technologies here. So I'll press on smart technologies. It gives me an option for smart, no smart notebook software or smart board drivers. I'm going to click on smart notebook software and I'm going to click on smart notebook software version 10 and you'll see that it opens up. Now, for those of you who've used smart notebook for the first time, you'll notice that a smart notebook welcome screen comes up. Um, when you open a notebook for the first time, obviously you see a welcome to smart notebook screen. This can be turned off by unchecking the box in the bottom left hand corner. But on this occasion, I'm just going to close down the screen where the red cross is here. So I'll just press on that to close that down. Okay. So we're going to talk about default view of Smart Notebook. When we first open up Smart Notebook, what's what and where's what? First of all, we have up here our Smart Notebook menu bar, which is pretty similar to what you may have seen on a... Um, on a, a Windows application, Word or Excel. So you've got all the most commonly used things like file, open, all those sorts of things that are accessible from that particular menu place. Below that, here we have the Smart Notebook Toolbar. Now this has some of the most commonly used and um, some of the more creative tools that you may be using in Smart Notebook when you're uh, giving your lesson. Now, this toolbar is normally fixed at the top of the board but it can be moved to the bottom of the board. So if you're working with particularly young children or you're working with people who may have access issues, dis disabled people, for instance, we can actually bring the smart uh, notebook bar to the bottom of the screen. And the way we do that, I'm just going to move across to the other side of our screen here. And you'll see next to my properties tool, properties option here, you'll notice um, a two-way arrow, an arrow pointing up and down. To move my toolbar to the bottom of the screen, I simply press this and you'll notice that my toolbar is now at the bottom of the screen. To raise it back up to the top, I simply press the same icon again, which is the uh, two arrows up and down, and it sends it back to the top of the screen. Very easy to, to manipulate. The third area I want to talk about on the screen is what we call the deck area. And this is the area where we would make our notes, we would insert our content, insert our drawings, insert our flash files. And I'm going to label that now just to show you what that is. So I'm going to write up here, work area. So, okay. And I've picked up my red pen and I've used that on the board to indicate where the work area is. So we notice that we've got our, um, our two, just to recap, we've got our menu bar, our notebook toolbar, and we've got our work area. The fourth area I wanted to cover is the side, uh, side tabs. Now, the side tabs, the same as um, using when we're using the Smart Notebook toolbar, can either be on this side of the screen, or you'll notice um, just here that there is a, um, uh, an arrow which is pointing left and right. If I click on there, it sends my um, side tabs to the other side of the screen. Uh, why, would I, why would that be useful? Well, it depends on if you, you might be left or right-handed. You might prefer to work from different sides of the board. But it's also very useful if you have two people presenting at the board at once 
I could be using the, 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 the side tabs here, and if my colleague used to use them, I can find them across there, over to him, and vice versa, he can send that toolbar back to me at the other end of the uh, board. We're going to cover, throughout our training, we're going to talk, firstly, we're going to talk about our page source toolbar, then we're going to talk about our gallery, sidebar, our attachment sidebar, and our property sidebar. We're going to start off with our page sorter tab. 